Hi everyone, thank you very much for um, taking time out of your day to um, speak to me today. Um, so first off, I'm going to start off um, with um, Ryan. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about um, the Mysterious Benedict Society and also just a little bit about your character, please? Absolutely. The Mysterious Benedict Society. So it's about a group of orphans who are sort of tasked with going undercover at this you know, mysterious boarding school to essentially foil a plot that is there to sort of hypnotize the world into being full of anxiety and basically controlling their subconscious mind. Because these orphans are not just normal orphans, they're sort of, as they're described in the pilot and also in the book, lovers of truth, which is, you know, just another way of saying that these are golden hearts. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to ask all of you, um, have any of you read any of the books before um, appearing in the series? So we'll start off with um, Gia. I hadn't read uh, any of the books, but um, as soon as I, I, read, I read the pilot, I rushed to order the books. And then my mom stole the book off of me as soon as I was done. And then she bought the book set for just about everybody in that age range that she knew. All of her friends' kids now own the book set of the Mysterious Bending Society. <laughs> okay, and this, um, the same question to you, Mama Yeah. Yes, I too had not uh, been familiar with the book, but upon um, auditioning, I also ordered it and I went ahead and ordered a bunch of copies to my nieces and nephews uh, in the UK and in Canada. So okay. everyone in my family has a collection. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had not, I had not read the books either, but I'll tell you, you know, right before we started filming, before we went, I went up to Vancouver, I was getting a checkup at my doctor. And, uh, and, he said, oh, and I said, oh, I'm going to Vancouver. He said, what are you working on? I said, oh, it's a new project. And, I, and he said, what is it? And I, and I said, uh, uh, it's called the Mysterious Benedict Society. And he went, oh. He goes, are you Milligan? I said, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I've read all the books. And I was like, oh, I guess, I guess I'm late to the party here. So then I, you know, of course I picked them up and read them. But yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kind of ask as well, um, do you think um, you actually would have passed the test yourself to get into the Mysterious Benedict Society that they all went through in the first episode? So again, we'll go around with um, Gia first. Uh, I'd like, like to think that I would, but I think the honest answer is absolutely not. Um, those were extremely challenging <laughs> questions. Uh, we were actually just talking about the fact that in, in the book set, there's, um, there's, there's a skinny little book that comes with it, um, which is a book of riddles and puzzles. And, and I tried to do those with my mom and neither of us could get through them. <laughs> <laughs> and the same to Mama, yeah? Yeah. I don't know about that. I think the one thing that I, I might, that might have gotten me through is that I, I would be too scared to cheat, you know? Okay. So if, if that's what it's like, okay, you're, you're in, then, then that would be it. But everything else, yeah, those, those riddles, props to them for answering those questions, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the same to Ryan as well, please. Yeah, I think I might get a couple. I might get, there's no way that I'm getting all of them. But I think that there's, there's a couple in there while, while I was reading the pilot and then also reading the script while I was like, you know, playing the armchair detective, trying to like figure it out. And I got a couple of them, but it's most certainly not all of them. Yeah. Okay, and final quick question. Um, again, to all three of you, um, what has been your favorite Disney Plus original so far? We're getting to go around with Gia first. Uh, the Mysterious Benedict Society. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and uh, so again, on to Brian. Oh, on to me. Uh, you know, I am, you know, from me to you, I am a complete Disney-aholic. You know, is I, I'm an annual pass holder. I go many, many times a year. I've been to Club 33 a million times. I watch everything on Disney Plus. I watch everything. My favorite was probably the first season of The Mandalorian. That, that, I, that was, that was, you know, sort of a groundbreak. I thought that, that was, it took the whole network in a different direction. So I like that one a lot. I would say, um, I, I, I really loved WandaVision and I waited until it, all the episodes were out so I could binge it in true fashion. Cool. You know, I stayed away from Twitter. I stayed away from social media because I didn't want any spoilers. I was recently somewhere where they were playing 
um, Disney songs um, in the in the reception room, and it was just so nostalgic to hear the Peter Pan, You Can Fly, and then the song right after that was, I think, Bare Necessities, and it was just so nostalgic to hear all these Disney songs. Um, so it was just it's just lovely to be a part of this world now. That's great. Thank you so much for taking your time out today to speak to me and um, all of our viewers and stuff again. Thank you and great good luck with um, the Mysterious Benedict Society. Thank you, Roger. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I'll just see you guys in another video. Laters.